ask, okay. waiting for your answer for the past three weeks. Bismillah. Finally, I got a chance to talk to you. Alhamdulillah. So, Sheikh Saleh, you know, I, I, have a, uh, I have a saving account of a, a sub level, and, and I have been paying, I have been paying my, um, you know, my zakats uh, through the year, every month, to some organizations and some uh, individuals, but I have not calculated properly. And I have a car loan and I have a credit card loan without interest. Can I subtract them and then calculate my, my zakats? Hmm. That's a good question. Let me tackle this question first, Brother Tara. As far as you did not calculate accurately, no problem, because if you donate it to a non-profit organization, uh, which you trust that they will deliver your zakah or contribution to those who are needy and worthy of help, uh, I'm sure you have the receipt or an email for each payment, so you can add them up and then see whether you have paid fully your zakah or you still owe a balance of the zakah. When you say I have a car loan, or I have a loan, can I subtract it from the zakah? Only if the loan is due, but if it is due on several years to come, then in this case, no, you do not subst subtract it. Rather, only deduct and subtract what is due in this month, you remove it from the payment of zakah. Business owners, billionaires, who actually own lot of businesses and a lot of money they also have taken loans so if they deduct these loans from their due zakat they will say like they trick the taxes and uncle sam they will say i'm not required to pay any zakat if you have wealth and you don't have a due amount to be paid then the zakat is due on the amount which you actually possess and it is under your full control Barakallahu